We'll call the study session to order. We'll all recite the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You need that for What? Hey. It's hard to overcome that. You're the son I'm sorry. That's my fault. Can I read it during the pledge? Are you guys done? Alright. So far. Alright. Um, so let's go over the agenda. Let's go kind of mix it up a little bit. You've got a copy of the agenda in your envelope. Um, let's see. So we're straight on the highway resolutions. And we plan to table item number two at this point, okay, till next meeting in July, and that way we're, we're uh, and no issues with the highway department. We want to skip to the very bottom, uh, number nine. Why don't we talk about the Kreckman bids? Does anybody have any thoughts about that? And do we have any feedback, Augie? I know you sent it up to Mark. I, Assume that he basically just said looks pretty straightforward. A verbal to me looks pretty straightforward. You got two bids, one's higher than the other. Kind of a no-brainer. Sounds uh, like we made pretty good money. We didn't expect a million. Right. And that I mean you were kind of one of the ones looking for a higher. Is that pretty happy with that? Right. Mm -hmm. And remember, and I think it bears that we were going to have to spend a fair amount of money on that building. Uh, was it you telling me that the hospital figured that they were talking 45, 50,000 just to put a new roof on that? Yeah, maybe more than that. Well, that's a big roof. And then there were other issues. So, you know, you may look at the appraisal, but looking at what we got, you add everything together and what our exposure on a monthly and maybe a, a basis of what we had to do to that building. So, are we. How would we look at it? Just probably have to replace all the carpet into. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's and there's our problem, right? Give it to them. Yeah, like that. You, does anybody have any issues with what we're intending to do? I might mention, and Carl and I talked about this. Uh, the money that we get from that, just ask you to think about this. We might uh, put that in the fund for the clock tower when we redid that for the bond fund to replenish that for the couple of years that we didn't get a chance to put anything in it because of some other issues. Um, just worth, I just want to ask, please, um, as far as our costs, getting this up, we were taking those out prior to putting those in a separate fund that we can't retroactively pull from, right? So if we could do a cleanup, dumpster, you know, any of the closing costs, I don't know how it all is involved, but certainly there's costs involved, right? Okay, so to put it in the regular fund, wait a and take out any associated uh, costs to transferring them, that sounds more than, does anybody have any, more than reasonable? And then whatever, the, that would still leave a significant amount that we could put in that fund, okay? You know, Harson and I that clean up the back. Well, that's so yet to be so the yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask if we were going to wait until the next meeting and probably discuss what our mm -hmm. obligations are in that regard. Right, because we'll go to the hospital mm -hmm. and I was going to ask you to maybe, if you would, yeah. be our point since you were the point that showed it mm -hmm. and work out the determination with Augie about timing. We need to get the department head, we need to have a meeting of department heads to affect <coughs> what needs to happen. We need to coordinate with sheriff. If we need a sale, we need to uh, get a hold of There's the dumpster records. garbage yeah. records. Uh, we need to coordinate with uh, Aaron for the structure out here that he's going to give us for storage and just various. You know, it's just going to take a month or two to get it all coordinated and done. Yes. Yeah, the uh, company when it comes in, shred stuff. If not, the hospital has one. Do they? Okay. Yes. You might call them and get the name I, of the company that does it. I talked to Ollie, uh, and he said that they come about twice a month. Well, uh, well more, more often than that. More often Usually than that. Usually when they come. He said, he goes, you know, just, he goes, I'll give you the name of it. You coordinate. We'll get people together. 
do you argue do you know uh, some of those stuff down there that, that's already been okay to be demo uh, destroyed not at the Crescent building I'm not aware of okay <clears throat> I know there are uh, treasurer records and there are also I believe state's attorney records right. So I was just going to mention that because and probation yeah. and probation. We probably should work out the hierarchy of who gets priority and where we're going to store stuff and be methodical about putting that in the new place wherever that is. Because talking right. to um, Amy uh, in Mark's office, she right. said that you know they have to have access to those. And I mean theirs is actually laid out pretty nice in the correct building currently, so it's going to be easy to pull it out. But we need to make sure that we have a good place for it and a place that they have access to, and it's not a you know. We just don't want it to become a dump. Right. It's got to be right. It has to be done right. And I say we, we probably should look at readdress that place for the climate control records and make sure that you know for the two to three agencies that have need of access to those records, who gets priority, who uses the most, and, and even at least be methodical about that. So I agree. Um, Will you be good enough to coordinate? <laughs> do it. Oh, yeah, do it anyway. yeah. Yeah, and then we're, we needed to have a meeting of the, and you probably need to be there also to that meeting. So if you coordinate with with Derek to make sure, even more so than me being there, so that he, he can impress upon everybody the importance of everything. I am impressive. Yes, you are. <laughs> you're the only one with a tie on, so you're, the, you're it. You've been in his office a lot of time. I've never seen more. Okay, do we have any more questions <laughs> on, on the Kirkman issue? Um, sorry, just what, what meeting are we? Just, just a, a department head meeting. Okay. We're going to get all the department heads together, get on the same page. We'll, after Wednesday, we'll confirm and uh, get your stuff out of there because then the next step is. In an orderly way. Yeah. Yeah. In an orderly way. Right. And then we're going to get rid of all the junk. Right. And it may be that those let me know when that's going on. I will. Right, that's what I'm asking. Would you, 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 you carry all of it? You just bring that. Not very bright. Like a strong one. Okay, we've got a central management services contract. Toggy, do you want to? It's just based on. Go ahead. What? Uh, several now, years ago, we signed an agreement with CMS, the jail did, Sheriff Department. Um, when they laid a fiber optic cable, Went through there that we uh, allowed the schools to use that for internet yes and simply the state is reorganizing in into more of a technology department uh, department of IT I think they call it do it and so all we're doing is amending the current lease to reflect that change it's just a one pager um, which, you have. which I have mark looked at it he said straightforward simple no problem uh, the next item on number 11 on the second page is a conveyance of, to execute a deed again uh, we've got somebody to take over parcel in our our tax agent is recommending that this is the more traditional style and this yes. is the traditional way of doing it yes sir uh, then the last item I think that might have a question is item 15 and we're authorizing to seek bids on the 17 audit so thought it's been two or three years since we've done that so it seemed to make sense there's nothing wrong I want to nothing wrong with what we're having done now but in order to be prudent and protect the taxpayers it seems like the right thing to do at this time are there any other questions about the agenda at this point? Okay, thank you. Uh, what do you think, well, Andy? You got something? I do have. That's the estimate to put the air conditioner in the uh, air, 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 air conditioning unit. Yeah, up in there, and, and I'd like to get that's at least in the works because I mean it's it's kind of somewhat of a process. He's going to have to get. Tom Judy in there or somebody with a lift pull the old one off <clears throat> and set the new unit on and then replace the air hammer unit. And they won seventy five hundred dollars up front. Up front. Did you talk to the judges about is this could this be court security or anything? <laughs> oh I should have. <laughs> Just a little humor. 
<laughs> Saying just have to wear nothing underneath their robes to stay cool. That's another option. There's a thought. <laughs> visual for Thank you. Thank you for downloading that. Which, which unit is it? It's the one in, there's two units in the, in the judge's chamber. <laughs> this is either one in the judge's chambers or the one in the courtroom. Okay, is it the ones on the porch, over the porch? Yes. Okay. And the air handling units are up in the, what was the old gallery, there's two of them and one of them. What happened is the bottom of the, of the coil rusted out. Well, you can't put the, it all has, you have to upgrade everything now because you don't use the same refrigeration. So it has to be an entire. So what's the total price? Eighty-five hundred. Jeez. Seven thousand up front. Seven thousand up front. That's uh. Oh, can't just do that. Twenty-five dollar fine. Does anybody have any questions about this particular issue? So there's not, no, nothing to take care of as far as the, you know, or going back and trying to unfuck some of the issues aesthetically in the courthouse as we. Make these yeah, that was, that, that, I, this is this thing. I did have gotten some a little bit of feedback on the elevator at this point. Um, one gal who said she contacted me Monday never got back with me. Uh, Hard to believe. This uh, finally, I, I did have a guy from Bison Krupp who's presently that's who uh, services that elevator. Um, he's gonna. I, I said, you know, I'd like to just have options. He goes, at this point, the lady that talked to me said, told me that she was from Crown, 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 yeah, it's a, another elevator company. She said, we did one similar to what you're doing, and just to replace the elevator, uh, she goes, it's, you replace all the work, it's a new box, but using the same shaft, she said it right around 80,000 bucks. That's what we were told number of years ago. Well, about 80. She said if, if you are thinking about relocating it, um, you could add another twenty to thirty thousand dollars. That's just a just a strict relocation. So a new shaft would be thirty thousand dollars. Rough, yeah. Potentially. If, yeah. And it, that's probably not what we're talking about necessarily. Yes. But what you, you mean relocating it? Like the exterior, some of the stuff we talked, some of our ideas to see yeah. on it. Some would that ideas. include the demolition of the old shaft? Probably not. You know, I, I, so good. I got them. I said, well, you know, I said, do you have in-house architects that do this design, or is this something that I need to go and find out? And they said, no, we have people that sit, some do it either way. Some have their own architect that comes in and designs where to put it. Um, but we also have people. So he said, I've got an idea what you want. <clears throat> so I'll go both ways and give you what, pretty much what it's going to cost. About thirty. Yeah. Okay. Is it required to have access to disabled people to get upstairs? Would that be a federal yeah, law? Access to disabled yeah. people, for example. ADA. Yeah. To get up there. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, what about the chair that you're like made for that? <clears throat> we talked about it. We're, we're no, not That's not going to happen. They're we do a on TV. They look pretty good. Just yeah. shoot yeah. them up to the floor. <laughs> they want to be fun. about it? Um, yeah. And the wheelchair doesn't make it the same time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, that, that's in the wheelhouse I was thinking. I mean, if we can fit this in order to get what we want, that it's actually, you know, I, I'm, I'm on, definitely on board with that. What right. else is, but I, is this something we need to go back to the committee the, on, the, on the clock tower and maybe make a presentation, ask them to come in and talk to them? Ned Jennison. I mean, what? Uh, I mean, it's just a Yeah, it's, you know, I, say, I think you ought to roll the roof that's and an I'm elevator and everything into something. And say, look, we at have some <coughs> issues here. We have issues. And, and that's what we need. Yeah, we get there. Well, and I don't know, it, it could take a number of different forms. It could be a, a fundraising, it could be working with the city, it could be, I hate to use the B word, but it could be a bond issue. I mean, there could be the B word. Yeah. Well, I mean, it because it, it all needs to be done. It all needs years. to be done. What was going through your mind? <coughs> oh, no. uh, there was something profane, I'm sure. That's well, fair. I'm just I, no, in I, that group. I mean, we're talking about the, and I mean the aesthetics to do what you're talking about, and you're right. 
I mean, there might be some interest in returning the courthouse to a more original state. I don't know. I, I don't I, know. So here's my just I'm thinking out loud here. So the the roof is kind of an unknown time. We need to have it done. We definitely need to have it done. We bought a ton. We bought, we bought some time years. and I've, I I probably ought to contact. That projection ended next year or something yeah. like that? Any time. So they said three to five years. Three to five. Years. And that was yeah. when? That was about was so two years ago. Yeah, that was two years ago. Okay. Potentially our elevator issue could rear its head at any, at any point. point. Right. She explained to me, you know, I, I, um, the guy from Tyson Crow, the maintenance guy, said you when you have to redo that one, you have to pull, um, if that's a single shaft, and now you're required to put double shafts in. The EPA requires you to put two shafts in case the one leaks, then you've got a, something to catch the oil rather than just leaching into the ground. So ours is a single shaft, which is why we have why it has to be dug out. I mean, and, and it's expensive to do. So, there are any other mitigating technologies to deal with that? You're saying we put in a new elevator, we have to put in a double shaft. You have to put in a double shaft. Not so a double shaft, shaft, shaft that goes up the no uh, in the ground in the, the ground. hydraulic shaft. Mm -hmm. Just a just a double hauled reservoir. Double hauled right? reservoir, basically. Okay. I Jeez, think it so bears important that our elevator currently is passing all regulation. I mean, never use the word death trap. That was never mentioned. Don't put that in the paper. I'm just saying that it is certified. I'm still here. It is licensed. It is. But yeah. well, it you continues to pass. pass. Right. So uh, we're dealing with something. We're trying to be proactive here, knowing that we can't get parts. You can't get right. If something happened to it, they, they make no parts for that elevator anymore. So if Dan got stuck in there, there's no way to get him out. There's no way to get him out. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Bring me some food. Just, just demo the right. So that, that was my only concern. So if we kind of package this as one bigger project, which I think makes sense because we're talking less than 10% potentially as far as elevator cost, mice, roof cost, right? Is, you know, would, would the wheels turn slower in that process and potentially jam us up? Or do you think we can just kind of get everybody on board with what we want to happen and then we can we have some flexibility once it's established? I, uh, there, yeah, I mean, you say flexibility. In other words, are there some different avenues that we could, you could do, you could fix it this way or this way? I don't want to start, you know, kind of whipping everybody up and, and creating this massive structure that we don't have the flexibility if something happens to our elevator in the next six months that we now, because we don't have what we need in place, maybe, not good way you want to. I'm not saying that very eloquently, but that's kind of my question. Well, what, what I wasn't here when they did the clock tower piece. I don't know what this organization looks like, how it operates, what it does. But I just, that was just I'm cautious with that. Group of citizens, that citizens committee. And I think citizens. that's a great idea because the more people we can get on board with this, I think you know. You know, Charlie you know, from out at you know Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Kristen yeah. was on that. Yeah. Original. Yeah. Kristen. Yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. I mean, it was a nice cross section of individuals from the community. Okay, I'm just thinking well, that that. I, mean, I, I, I suppose, and I've been probably the where to start, and I don't know whether you want to go ahead and authorize something like this. Is, is get a hold of the engineering firm and say, give you know, give me a ballpark what's going to cost to give us an estimate. Well, we're going to, to need fix that. that. To we're going to need that. Put somebody on point. Because right. they, otherwise they're not going to have anything to work with. Right. And, the, and they've got all the drawings and the, the, the everything of the, the courthouse. Right. And Arnie seems somewhat uh, dug in to, <coughs> to, to help us. So, well, I just want me to contact you and say, you know what, give us the ballpark yes, with engineering. Yes. yes. Tell them what we kind of got in mind. Okay. You know, because we may be looking at, well, I hate to put a dollar figure on it. I just don't know. Are you talking roof or elevator? Both. Well, yes. well I'm kind of you telling them what our project is, the scope of our project, which way would he suggest to go? I mean, that, that's what these guys do. If push came to shove and we had to do the elevator, I guess we could. I mean, it's possible, but it's not the healthiest thing in the world for us to do. Sure. I mean, I mean, we do what we have to do, okay? 
Well, I mean, we would, have, we, could, would get, we would have to do something at the elevator point right. where we couldn't. But we'd hate to fine. go one direction when we want to go the other direction. In other words, you you improve the aesthetics, yes. you know. So it would be the $30,000 is what is in question? Well, I'm just, yeah. The 30, well, you know, and we're looking, well, we don't know. I don't, well, I don't want to quote. I, I don't, don't want to quote. I really just don't. That's it's you know, actually I'm, surprising me that it would be only thirty more for the new shaft. And when we say new shaft, they're talking about cinder blocks, just kind of put together the coat of paint on because that's we have no idea. I don't. They look at our shaft I'm like ah, oh, we can do that for thirty. I think we ought to talk about what we're looking at. Take down that we ought to take a jaunt down and take a look at that sister courthouse that looks I know. just I almost exactly like where did they put their? That's what they I'm got one on. Do you know? Or they go to the catapult. You, you had some articles on that in the paper, didn't you? As I recall, they relocated it outside. Okay. But when they never did relocate it, they <clears throat> that's when they had to put their elevator right. in and they put it outside. <clears throat> and that may be another issue as far as the aesthetics of the building. You know, that may not pass muster anymore as far as mm -hmm. being able to, to do that on the outside of the building may take too much away from the historic value of it. They probably got away with it because they did it quite a while ago. Well, they would have done it when the ADA came in and all the right. national That's rights, all those rules were all in place then. Oh, okay. All right. Well, anyway, I, I just thought it would be worthwhile. I think to you can do something. I, where's the sun on that? I can't imagine. Jerseyville. It's Pittsburgh. Jerseyville, down in south, north of St. Louis, on the Illinois side. Was it Pittsfield? That sounds very Pittsfield. 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 Jersey or Pittsburgh. Springfield. Well, there was four, there was four, right? And there was three that are still standing. Is that right? Was, was, so there's more than one. Five. 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 There were five. Three left. Three left. Okay. Okay. But at any rate, I mean, we could get an idea of what. So you're talking eighty some thousand just to replace it and leave it where it's at. But if you move it outside or move it somewhere else, courthouse, you're yeah, talking yeah. a lot of money. Well, they said well, at least 30. Yeah, 20, I can't 30. imagine how it would only be 30,000 more. Either. I can't imagine that either. Relocating it somewhere right. else. That and then taking the current shaft out and opening that yeah. hole back up yeah. again. Yeah. Now, I don't know who knows where. I mean, there, there had to be some kind of a guardrail around the top to floor. That did, I, I assumed it just went to the first floor, not to the basement, to the first floor. The courthouse, as I understand it, when it was originally built, that skylight uh -huh. that's up there now, yeah. it provided interior illumination from the top floor all the way into the basement. All the way to the basement. Yeah. So there was rail. There would have had been rail. But rail I never, on both I've never floor. seen an interior <laughs> photo of the courthouse okay. prior. I'm trying to figure out what That's that why was. we need to maybe to take a look at that other courthouse and that's that week and that lady who came and we did the story with her that's the way the courthouse is it is an open all the way to the base all the way to the base of course do they have skylights uh, yeah. up in there like oh, yeah it's and a beautiful skylight it's oh, yeah. it's a Stay it's a twin us. sister to, to what we got Stay and of course when the courthouse was designed in the 1890s you wanted that open space to move air through it for right. ventilation too you could open that top up over the bottom sense. and you got natural convection because you didn't have electricity for fans or anything. Okay, but let's uh, get technical. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? What do you want? <laughs> well, the simple answer is yes. Go ahead and get uh, we start with talking Jenny and Right, and maybe Arnie. we can get something set up to go take a look at that courthouse. It'd probably have to be a, yes, a special meeting of some kind so that we do it. You know, I don't know whether it'd be a caravan or how far is that? Exactly. Have led drive us about two hours. Go now. No, it'd be more than two hours. I got it. It'd be okay. close to two, two and a half. Like here. Huh? Two hours of spring. Yeah, it'd be three hours, hours of trip. Right. Yeah, I would guess. To where? Pittsfield. Where's Pittsfield? New Jersey. Go. Just answer the question. West of Springfield. That's been a little bit south. West of Springfield is a little over two hours, right? Yeah, my daughter loses it. Was that true? Okay. Keep it up. Anything uh, else, Andy? Uh, not that I can think of. Right? He will. No. Okay. Now let's watch watch your blood pressure go up. Okay, Dan. Do you got anything? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Started out with the uh, animal shelter, basically uh, Roscoe everything done. 
I think Andrew said she got rid of nine dogs last week. Didn't you realize did. them? She got rid of them. She has a uh, agreement with uh, Park County, so they kind of trade back and forth, so, which is really good. She didn't euthanize any of them. Uh, I was asking uh, Dr. Fitch, you know, passed away and he was on the health committee at the health department. How's that work as far as replacing They need them? to come up with a recommendation. They do? They, okay. Well, that's how we've handled it. Okay. We want to make sure that they they have invites or we give them somebody they're comfortable with okay. and that fits into the community. So if they would come and let Augie know so that we can, they need to come up with somebody to so appoint. Uh, we appoint them. I think we have a meeting probably next month, so I can go over Janet in the meantime and see if she right. has any ideas. Right, and that would be appropriate, okay? And to make a long, long story short, I had a uh, irate citizen call me last week. There was a business on West Jasper. Got pretty heated conversation over the phone. So I, uh, and it was, he wanted us to put some free stuff in the uh, courthouse. So I called Andy. I said, Andy, could you meet me down in his business? Meantime, I was a little leery, so I called the sheriff's department and said, would you be around this area just in case? But he was that irate. So Andy and I met with him. He did cool down a little bit. He wanted to put a floor in the restroom upstairs, and that's not what he showed us. He shows a piece of old annoying that looked like that. So and then this stuff, he wants to put around the basement door, which is old tires that are made into carpet. So we went down there. He did cool down a little bit. And uh, next day he called me and apologized for getting upset. Meantime, he also has something, and you talked to me about that. He, he a poker run. Somebody did it coming through Edgar County, and he didn't have a uh, license or a pen, permit to do it. A little bit upset about that because he donates some of the money to 1544. They had to go through down to Marshall, stop and eat down there. So he gave me the, some kind of thing, a piece of paper also. So well, the, the poker run. I yeah, he, well, he, he brought that up when I was. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you want to see this or not. See I can clarify that. That was me, Dan. Okay. We okay. visited about that. Yeah. Uh, a few years back, uh, the issue of an ordinance with a poker run came up. Sure. And I think Ben was the chairman right. at the time. And the consensus of the board was why should we charge a fee to get a license to have a poker run? when you're trying to raise money right, to begin right, right, right. So exactly it right. basically just went away. But what brought the issue up was this gentleman that owns this business was trying to have a poker run uh, and he wanted to end it here at our American Legion, or the 1544. But because he, we wouldn't give him a license, he had to stop it right at bottom of or the north part of the county, Clark County. They were coming from Marshall into so he wouldn't come into Edgar County without a license point. Well, but he didn't need one? They didn't need one. That's what it sounds like. We told him that, but other counties had to give him gave him a license. We didn't. I and I basically said well, come one. on in. Yeah. You know. We don't need one. Okay. All right. Well I suggest that you turn over that information on whatever he wants to do to the uh, Building and Grounds Committee. Oh, he and knows. He no, I'm, I'm just right. so the official, and that right. way you figure out what, if anything, you want to him to donate or not donate, and we'll go from there. Well, Augie said he was up measuring the restroom last week, right? He was, yeah. yes. It bothered me that he's so irate. And he expected me to bring stuff to the board well, and we get, it done. We get it done. Why? He wanted me to get it done. The angry I said it doesn't work that way. He was mad because you couldn't get it done. Right, right. I think I'm going to go by, I'll drop the stuff off. I say if you want to present your whatever you want to do to the board, come to one of our work or study session. Well, and That's I my think opinion. It, it bears repeating. Because I'm not going to do it for you. It bears repeating. We individually, singly, don't have any power on our own unless we sit with the other six people. I told you. That. And we act, we act as a, as a unit and make decisions as a unit. 
okay. some committee would accept. I understand. I'm really saying but that maybe it could be, you know. I guess I'm confused. He's wanting to do all this. Do we have a need for what he's wanting to do? Well, that's why we, we could put some uh, now. It's, we could use uh, we could use some new uh, flooring in the back. This is for the executive washroom. Yes. Yeah, yes. Executive yes. Washroom. Well, we wanted that to be top notch. So. Well, it's not, that's not what I want to put in. He want to put in all the noise. It looks like that. That's not. He brought that by. I don't know where he got that at. That might be the only piece he has like that. Good they have the noise on a row, right? Right. Yeah. Slick stuff that you know, like put your. So he needs to meet, you know, meet with that committee. Yeah. Ready or kind of come on with study session. <clears throat> And I don't have a problem with that. I said one thing I do want. Committee, you and Andy and who else? I'm not on that committee. He me and Andy, me to me and Andy and John. Yeah. You and Andy and John. Yeah. I tried to tell him I'm not on that committee. You need to go to the committee. <clears throat> no, you represent me. You need to do this. And that wasn't no. We've been that wasn't nice myself. voice either. Okay. I'm trying to use his nice voice because you. What were you saying? I'd rather not put his name in the paper. Um, I just said that before you put a floor in that, Room, you need you got to take that radiator out. You got to fix where it's leaked on the floor. There's mm -hmm. boards that are need to be repaired, and then put the radiator back. And that's part of what I've tried to try to get Paris refrigeration to go through and take apart a lot of those uh, valves yeah. and replace some and replace the flooring. I know the one in probation. I, when I walked Bob, I walked in. He had he had got a little fan under. Because, oh, I empty about once a week. Well, but it's rotted. It's rotted the floor out there in that place. So I said, this summer when we've got this, the heat off, we're going to go through and take some of those apart. Any of them that are leaking and re rebuild the valves and put them back on. And then you can control them. I mean, a lot of those are either wide, well, they're either wide on or off. And there's no in between because the valves are all totally on there. Yeah. They still <clears> measure the floor. I just think anything we do to that old courthouse needs to have some foresight, and some right. thought to right. the building itself because we see what the alternative is. Well, right. You know, put that downstairs by the doors. We don't know if that's going to work or not. Yeah, I mean, how you all of it, it. All of it needs to be looked at right. seriously with some thought yeah. to what's going to. I'll let you form your own conclusion, but he's asking about how much board members get paid. I'm trying to make decisions. Get paid your insurance. How much you make a month? So you know, kind of form your own conclusion, but. You also mentioned you may run for election in the next, or run for my position in the next kind of board. Oh, great. Yeah. So I have another Robert Bogg on the committee. Don't put that in the paper. You're on video. <laughs> it's on video. <laughs> That's it. I, okay. I, no, you're fine. Yeah, okay. I, was I will just... stop by this afternoon. I'll drop that stuff off. i say, if you want to proceed with this, you need to talk to the building committee, right. which is Andy Patrick. I'm just call. <clears throat> I went to school with Lawrence, I know Lawrence. Yeah. I, the <clears throat> only reason I mentioned how we function is I, I can't too. tell the paper. Yeah. I know you did. Yeah. But if it's put in the paper, if it happens to make it in, it will reinforce everybody in how we operate. I don't mean, okay. I, he can put it in as long as he doesn't put the person's name. I don't think the person's name should be in. Well, we haven't mentioned the person. Yeah, well, we all know. Well, I don't. And I can't remember because I'm old. Not as old as I am. Next. Well, does that give you any idea? Okay. Carl, okay. well, do you have anything? No. <laughs> Lud, do you no. have anything? No. No, if it's catching. Derek, just happy to be here. I've got something. Bring it on. What do you got? Robert Bogue. Yes. Uh, you want to about his grant assurances. Oh. And yeah. all the money that we may have to return. That's just asking the question. All right. Yeah. Does anyone else? Read that or looked at it or anything? Well, absolutely, because there was a yeah. FOIA request. Okay. And Augie responded right. to right. the best he could. Oh, well, the best he could. <coughs> upon what the state gave okay. us as far as our grant assurances and what they understand them to be. Is okay. that correct, Augie? That's absolutely correct. Okay. Yes, we have. Interesting. We do not ignore uh, FOIA requests. I understand that. So, so no, I mind. just I, some of this stuff I'm not saying for. I'm saying for the, publication, okay? The four-year request has been completed in the story. Yep. In the story. Any, uh, any updates at all in your annual spring bill? I have not, I've not seen anything. No, I haven't okay. heard. I've heard nothing. I don't know who's in charge. I don't know whether they know who's in charge. 
I, I do know that we have put the word out through through legislative and so forth is do not tell us one way or the other, or if you're going to tell us we can go ahead, that's fine. But if you're going to tell us this doesn't solve the problem, tell us how to solve the problem instead of just cutting us loose. Do not tell us no. Okay, and that's it. That's for you to figure out. You are the ones in charge. Right. So through back door and so forth, that is the message. Is the is the beacon in with that ground? Is that entirely separate? The we can't money? move forward until we have. Okay, that's what I was right. want, If want somebody else to pay for it or help us out with that cost, okay. it's all tied up together. Okay. Um, Go ahead, please. You said that was just people you talked to off, offline. Yes. About that. Yes. Got it. That's all I got. All right. What, as, uh, long, as long as you're happy, Dan. You good? Anything else? For I'm me? not happy. Okay. <laughs> well, that's obvious. You need to finish your cookie. I do. Yeah. I do crumb with. Are you two done now? Okay. I think so. For now. We have 58% of the year transpired. Um, I noticed that you might look at your budgets and take a look at uh, the court system. Indigent is way out of line. The judges do the best they can in guessing what we may have as far as expenses, but I think there was a budget of 15, and it looks like I think we're at 24 right now. So I don't want you to look at that and freak. All we can do, and it's not the judge's fault, it's not the attorney's, state's attorney's, it's just what happens. So uh, from the standpoint of the sheriff's department, you might look at uh, some of the uh, overtime, which looks like it's slowed, Carl. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but uh, obviously we're going to have issues with Mr. Johnson having been injured. So I know that's going to be an issue. I'm sure the sheriff has his hands full right now. I know they have uh, hired a new uh, jailer. Uh, some issues have gotten resolved in the department, and I know he's trying to, to fill s positions in. There's another guy that's coming off of medical that may be able to help us with part-time. He's fully qualified from the Texas penal system and may be able to give us additional assistance. I talked to a couple of deputies yesterday. Uh, Clayton is up and around, so they did surgery. This was right. pretty well. He had a broken penal and broken legs. Yeah. Um, yes. So the hiring of the jailer was to replace someone. That, that was our legal issue that we couldn't hire one. Right. Someone. Okay. And then there's an additional one that we authorized that had not been acted upon, and I assume that that one may be in the offing now. So potentially, if we hired it, that that next jailer that we're talking about, we'd be in good shape as far as not. We'd be where we want to be as far as the jailers go. Is that my understanding? They've got five full-time jailers right now, with with a new hire, and this other one would be a six that we don't necessarily have. No, much. There, there's no money for the six one. There's just money for the five. Right. Oh, I thought we put one more in. Remember, we said we were gonna. They had four full-time jailers. That's how many it takes to cover all the shifts. But you have the supervisor then too. And then they, he hired that fifth. He was reluctant to hire that fifth. He already had four. He was reluctant to hire that fifth till that girl over at Kansas got that got resolved. Oh, okay, all right. So that got resolved, and he hired I think the girl from Christman. Right. So that's they've got five now, and you know we gave him additional money in his budget for that fifth jailer. Okay, so that's I was that's where he wants it. Five. Well. Well, that's be better, yeah. Yeah. but you know the state. You know they're saying you need to have two people on it all the shifts. Well, that would take eight people. Mm -hmm. So you know we're working to make improvements. Well, <coughs> we've shown some improvement. I think you just I'm shut us down. So much. Well, this other individual, I don't think wants full time, but. They're fully qualified, so that might help us with well, part time. Well, about part time and overtime. And that's well, right, we've got that agreement with uh, the union for that particular right. uh, group. 
to utilize, we're utilizing two part-time people on dispatch, but he hasn't had anybody part-time for, for corrections. Because it's a training, I mean, right. who's going to commit to training right. when you're only... But we can utilize that if he had someone, <laughs> right. and he said he's been trying to find someone, and I'm glad that he at least found yeah, John, somebody. But the, yeah. the individual right. would be well qualified, and I've been trying right. to talk to him. I so. can help out a little bit on the overtime issue. Absolutely. And so are we still short a full-timer on dispatch? No. We're, we're full up. Full up we don't have part-timers there either, or do we? Actually, there's three. But two of them work on a weekly basis, Danny and Mike. With the uh, second payroll added in, uh, with remembering that we're at 58.4% of the year, when you add the last payroll in, that would put us at roughly 52% of our expenditures. Okay. Obviously, we're still, not obviously, but we are still behind on revenue. But remember, we haven't started passing or uh, collecting any tax, property tax money. Which brings me to an announcement that they are busily stuffing tax bills. <laughs> tax bills will be sent out yeah, as soon as they're ready that. on time. I'm sorry, what? Glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> that's what I said. The hour going to be busy, sis idols. And the, the, uh, the, the payments are due roughly at the same time time periods that they were last year. There's no acceleration or deceleration of when, when they're due. I think it's mid-July, first part of August, and then September, somewhere in there. That's when they're due. We got a list of Bob Cobb and do Yes, sir. Can you refresh me? We, we use that loan to account. We haven't used it. I know we were right on the cusp. Ah, that's the other thing. We have... <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. You guys are happy. That yeah, will take we're really happy. Fine. Fine. Really we happy. have borrowed one hundred and fifty thousand dollars of the possible five hundred in order to make up for the levied funds. Okay, and so I want to let you know, Don had to do that well, about a week, week and a half ago, in order to for IMRF and uh, the accelerated payments we made there. And so we'll be back in good shape here about mid July. Okay. So is that money in the 52 and 56 percent that you gave us, whatever those numbers were? Is that part yes. of Yes. No, 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 no. Because that's going to be reimbursed for the other funds anyway. That's a wash. Okay. Yes, sir. When's the uh, ambulance contract come up again? I believe next year. Oh, well, for sure. It's five years. Yeah, it? it's five years. We'll have to start looking at that particular issue. Is it not like the rollover like we got in trouble last time? Well, we'll obviously try not to duplicate our That's errors. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you know, doing it the same service. way every time is kind of, I think that's what they call insanity. Yeah. So <laughs> we're going to try not to do yeah. that. Okay. Some of us got to... I heard some comments recently. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I mean... That was a that was a that tough was. deal. <laughs> yeah, the was. other thing is, uh, we do have an appointment. Uh, I got a call from Rides. Who's who got him? Rides. I'm oh, sorry. What's the gentleman's name? King. King. King Sutton called me and reminded me that he was due up and appointment was due up in July. So if you have any. I told him that I had talked to you, Augie, not a week earlier or two, and that we weren't sure whether it was this July or next July. And he says, well, I think if you check, it's this July. So I just want to let you know we'd be, uh, any input that you have or what you think we ought to do, I'd uh, entertain anybody's suggestion. Well, yes. That's still a court system, the uh, money yes. part? Okay. Yes. The next hearing date on that is July 6th. 12th, July 12th, unless it's continued. Okay? A couple things. Please, uh, Carl. We have, earlier you mentioned the overtime. We're at 80000 Right. And uh, the cursor is 70000 budget in total. Right. And, uh, Augie, you might get a hold of the state's attorney and remind him that we're still look, looking for him to come up with someone to, with negotiations. And, um, we would like to get that done as soon as possible so we can set up a date to 
meet with the union to start negotiations. Because con both contracts with both groups end in end of November. So we need to get started on that. Yeah, because we had offered them some dates and we never heard back. Jarvis called me and wanted to know what was happening. And so I told them that it was in their ball, or in their court. The ball was in their court. The ball was in their court. Was they were in their court. Thank you, Carl. We need to get going on that. And of course, that begs to talk about eventually the, the uh, health, health insurance issue. We need to get that started in the panel. Yeah, and of course, yeah, all of that stuff. Uh, once Don has started uh, or finished with stuffing the uh, tax bills and everything else, then we'll get out to all the department heads a blank copy of the budget so they can start filling in the blanks for what uh, what they would like to do for next year. It's already that time. Okay. Can we do anything with the health insurance and wait until the new? Health bill is passed by the Senate, or uh, go ahead and do something. We'll have it go ahead and do something before that is finalized. Well, I think we need to get a hold of Bushy. who's our consultant. Bushy. 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 Thank you. Okay. And, and <coughs> find out what kind of time frame they're proposing so that we're not up against it. Yeah. And that's part of the reason why Carl brought up the fact that we want to start negotiations as soon as we can so we can integrate in. The health insurance issue. Okay. Yeah, just follow Travis. Mm -hmm. Right. They're dialing as much as they can. Right. Right. We. Anything we'll else? This. Anybody has? They might want to read this. This is my summary of my problem with that guy. No, you pretty much. Uh, I feel like I got the you know the long form of that one. So. <laughs> you got the short form. This is the long form. I got it twice. Not anymore. Augie, do you have I something you want to talk about? No, I think we're good. All right. Thank you. All those in our motion to adjourn? So moved. Oh, Dan and Derek, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We are adjourned. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time. And don't forget that John 